Hello, and in this tutorial, we're going to start implementing our linked list. So we're going to have to create the class node and the class linked list. So as said in the previous tutorial, all a node is, is you can think of it as this rectangle and it has whatever data you want to store in it plus the reference to the next node. So let's implement the node class first and we'll get back to here in a second. So let's create a class called node. And our node has two fields. It has the data, which we want to store. And in my particular case, I'm going to make an integer data. And it also has the reference to another node. So it has to be a type ref of type node. And we're going to call it next. Next, we're going to create a constructor for our node class. And it's going to accept an integer, which is going to be the data we want to set our node to. So we're just going to say this data assigned to that. And next is going to be assigned null. So when I create a new node, I want it to have some type of data in it. And the next part is null because all I want is to create this rectangle. That's all I want. Now, the reference part is going to come in later in our actual linked list. So you could think of the node class as actually a helper class for the linked list. So the linked list will utilize the node class. And the linked list is going to be uh, manipulating these uh, references to uh, each node. So now let's create our linked list constructor. And we're also going to be implementing the fields. Create a new class called linked list. Now, what are what are our fields? Well, I'm going to say private what node header because header is referencing the first node, so it has to be of type node private node last node. Same exact, same exact uh, principle as the header. Last node is going to be referencing the last node of our linked list. And finally, we had the size. Just going to contain the size of our linked list. So now let's start implementing our constructor. And now we want both header and the last node to be referencing a dummy node exactly in our diagram. So how do we do that? First, we have to create this dummy node. So let's kill two birds with one stone. We can say header because header is a reference. We're going to say new node. And what are we going to pass in for our node? For the data of our node, we're going to pass in null. Why? Because the dummy node is exactly what it is, a dummy. We don't want any data in it. So that's that. Now, what's the next step? Have the last node reference the dummy node. And what? who has the reference to the dummy node right now? Header. So just have them both referencing to the same exact node. 